FAA and NTSB are investigating the crash, as you mentioned, which we now know claimed the life of the pilot. He and his wife and baby son were uh, taking off here at Brookfield's Capitol Airport, heading home to Virginia after visiting his family in New Berlin when the plane crashed there on takeoff. Now, the damage was devastating, of course, as the small plane struck a parked SUV off the runway. Corey Pappenfuss was taken by flight for life, where we're learning he died late last night. His 37-year-old wife remains in critical condition at Freighter Hospital. Their son is in good condition at Children's Hospital, recovering from several broken bones. We've learned Pappenfuss' mother was watching them fly away and was the first to call 911. I want to warn you, you may find the call difficult to listen to. You just saw it? Um, it's my son and his wife and baby. Uh, it just, is it on fire or anything like that? No, it's not on fire. It's crashed. It, it right. flew off the runway. Well, I'm getting the, getting the ambulance going and the fire department going. Okay. A couple more questions while we're on. Okay. And there was three people on board? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I did talk to the family today, but not surprisingly, they're not ready to talk about the tragedy. The FAA investigators were back on the scene today to see if they can tell what went wrong. The NTSB is also playing a role in this investigation, though it may take a year or more before they have a report on the cause of this crash. Reporting live in Brookfield at Capitol Airport, Nick Poor, WISN 12 News.